My dad's birthday, anniversary of his birth, and I felt... Um, that somehow I had to be personally involved in this, especially when these two women were going to be the guests, and they are both important to me in my life and to my father. Very important. I started calling him Mr. Disney, but he said to call him Uncle Walt because I was too young to call him Walt, and everybody else called him Walt. That was kind of an edict of the... We were sitting having a cocktail and this hand appeared on Mark's shoulder and he said, is this your new bride? And I looked up and it was Walt Disney and I about swallowed the glass. <laughs> <laughs> that working for Walt was one of the joys of my life because uh, he would, there wouldn't be all these big meetings with everybody sitting around with books, taking notes and everything that they never looked at again. But um, he would come around and see each person personally. And he would, uh, when I asked him about having a budget for the costumes for Small World, he said, Alice, he said, I have people I hire to find the, the cost for the costumes and that. He said, I want you to design something that every child from the age of one to 100, every girl, would want to have costumes like that for their dolls and be their own. And uh, there was no more said about the cost of things. He meant, it meant the sky's the limit as long as it, it, it meets his wishes. Anybody who was a visual artist wanted to work with him, wanted to see him success. And he also, as you can hear from Alice and, and everybody, he responded in the most unusual ways. And uh, that's really what I remember about him.
This is the only time I heard of Walt swearing. <laughs> he, but he, he did said, that. He did do that. Yes. <laughs> but this is the only time I ever okay. heard it. Um, I didn't actually hear him, I heard his secretary, because he wanted me to get a, a king and queen for the ball that was known. And at the time, President Eisenhower, former President Eisenhower, was in Palm Springs with his wife. And I thought, that would be a good king and queen, because he was always painting landscapes and such, and a very good artist. So I called up uh, Walt's office, and I said to his secretary, would you ask Walt if he would ask Eisenhower to come and be the king and, and his wife the queen for the ball? And she said, you're kidding. And I said, <laughs> I said, no, I'm very serious. And he said he wanted somebody that would be well known, and I don't think there's anybody that would be more well known than Eisenhower at the moment. So. <laughs> She said, you really want me to do that? And I said, yes. <laughs> and she said, OK, I'll call you back in a while. <laughs> so she called me back in about a half hour, 45 minutes. And she was laughing. And she said, do you want to know what Walt said? <laughs> and I said, yes. And she yelled over the phone, hell no. <laughs> and so then she said, he started leaving my office, and he turned around and he said, that's what I like about that, Alice. She always thinks big. 